Charlecote Park is a grand 16th century country house on the banks of the River Avon in Warwickshire, England, surrounded by its own deer park of 185 acres. The land has been owned by the Lucy family since 1247. Charlecote Park was built in 1558 by Sir Thomas Lucy, who was an elected member of parliament in 1571. According to tradition, young William Shakespeare had a contentious relationship with Lucy. Following the plot by John Somerville against the life of Queen Elizabeth in 1582 and the arrest of Edward Arden as a conspirator, Lucy, a Protestant activist, raided homes of the Arden family to whom Shakespeare was related. Another story is that the young Shakespeare was much given to all unluckiness in stealing venison and rabbits, particularly from Sir Lucy, who oft had him whipped and sometimes imprisoned, and at last made him fly his native country to his great advancement. The great hall has a barrel vaulted ceiling made of plaster painted to look like timber, and it is a fine setting for the portrait of the next Sir Thomas Lucy and his family of 12 children who would own and manage Charlecote Park. An incredible Pietra Dure table from Italy is a centerpiece in the room. The borders are inlaid with scroll work, cartouches of alabaster, lapis lazuli, bianco e nero marble, green jasper, and brocatello. The overall composition is surrounded by a frieze showing a complex geometrical design. This colossal sideboard, known as the Charlecote Buffet, was carved by J. M. Wilcox for the Great Exhibition of 1851. It represents the fruits of nature and of hunting, together with figures of a fisherman and a hunter. The central panel depicts the progress of agriculture, and in the center above it is the figure of Ceres, the goddess of corn. After Queen Victoria declined to buy it, Mary Elizabeth Lucy gladly took it at the sum of £1,600 in 1858. An ongoing project for the National Trust is to care and preserve for the 3,500 books in the library. Many are rare and valuable volumes, and the Riverside location creates a damp environment in the house, which can prove disastrous for the old papers. I was told by a guide that this superb ebony commode held chamber pots at one time, but I am starting to doubt that. Kitchens in these old English manor homes 
are always intriguing. Just to see the expanse of the work table and the collection of copper pots and dishes. You can just imagine the great dinners that were held there. Having visited a few years back, I was greatly disappointed to see the parterre gardens empty of colorful blooms I had seen before. Sadly, they are another casualty of COVID, as many National Trust volunteers are older individuals who cannot risk their health. All I can say is thank you, National Trust, for persevering under these trying times. I hope you've enjoyed this tour of Charlecote Park and I hope you'll join me again on uh, visiting Britain's historical homes. <music>